welcome back to another exercise this is the model minia 2022 so here we are going to start first i am going to read notes here in notes all dimensions are in millimeters material plain carbon steel determine mass in grams okay first we have to see this section view and this is the main geometry of our body so how we are going to create if you see this right hand side view left hand side view you will see there is a circular body look this is a circular cylindrical body and uh, at bottom here you will see this is rectangle so this cylindrical body length 40 this rectangle bottom rectangle length 28 but the size of this rectangle 24 height from bottom width also 24 you will see in this view and 36 mm this is the distance from bottom to top so we need to create these two things 40 and 28 mm we will extrude see this is the section view so first uh, i am going to change unit okay this is millimeter background we can change it from here plain white go to option documents property and image quality i am going to change up to higher if you keep in cursor near this red your file size become higher and your system will become little slower okay so keep remember now first we have to choose any one plane so i am going to choose right plane sketch now activate corner rectangle make sure rectangle passes through this origin point then again activate center circle and draw one circle up to like here right click exit now let's do few things smart dimension activate smart dimension now the distance from here to the center line it's 24 mm okay now hold shift key select this one move your cursor upper side and select the upper edge of circle and drag click and see you will get the total length but you must select shift key 36 okay if you check this one by default this is 24 okay now one more thing is balance hold shift key select the line and this point make relation it is already coincide send mid point this is fully defined this case even though if you want you can trim it but we don't need we need this separately so simply exit now go to extruded boss base activate now here in selected contour first i am going to choose this circle so keep your cursor over the edge see it is going to move so keep end condition blind direction start keep same same plane no need to change anything but here we are going to change and this is going to be 40 mm see it is moving in one direction say yes now again make sure you have to select the sketch activate extruded boss base and in selected contour i am going to choose this edge uh, this rectangle just move your cursor click see only rectangle is selected now here keep end condition blind and this is going to be 28 mm according to drawing say if you keep merge unmerge okay here you will find two bodies but we right click edit feature merge result okay so now here you will see only one body now the next thing you will see here at bottom there is fillet 12 mm then there is a one circular cut out r40 and the center is lies in between these two so let's try this first activate fillet now select this bottom you will see constant size fillet so this uh, check this all boxes so that we will see the preview symmetric circle 
radius and that is 12 millimeter look this is going to be change profile is circular say yes now look now front plane sketch now let me choose one circle okay let's draw draw circle at this point because we are going to cut from here okay click this line hold shift key this point coincide relation okay now similarly choose this line and select this point make sure you hold shift key once you release you will see this option make coincide now see if you check check dimension see if you want to see show more dimension in radius okay this is going to be diameter now here activate extruded cut isometric view now here select cut through all both but we want to cut outside so here one box flip side to cut check and you will see the preview the outside things going to be delete or going to cut say yes look if i am going to rotate you can rotate your 3d mouse with the help of this middle circular button or roller button see the next thing we are going to cut this you will see at this section there is one cut out you will see no this is different at bottom there is a hole and there is one more cut out and this cut out is throughout you will see in section view hole 6.6 .6, but this cut out 12 mm from this edge okay and here the width of this cut out 14 mm so let's try to cut so select bottom sketch activate line tool click if you move back to the point and see it is automatically going to convert into arc make sure you create relation and close right click exit now here the tangent mark means it is perfectly defined activate circle tool right click activate smart dimension now this is going to be 14 width means 7 radius if you are going to right click display as diameter so is going to be display as diameter now this is going to be 6.6 okay now click this line hold shift key and origin point and here make relation midpoint activate the smart dimension and we forget important dimension distance from this edge is 12 mm and even though if you check distance from this edge also 12 mm but we already defined a relation now let's check okay now this time we are going to activate even though exit or either you can exit or it's no need even though now in selected contour choose this outer edge okay now here select through all because we want to cut but there is a catch now this cut out is start from 6 mm above this base so here is start we have to choose offset 6 mm right if you rotate your see this is moving downward so click and reverse the direction this is make sure 6 mm direction through all already selected and this is moving in perfect direction say yes look again select the sketch extrude cut and in first go to selected contour and choose this circle keep here end condition through all say yes now look 
let's cut this cut out you will see there is a one cut out 10 10 18 dia depth 10 millimeter this is this one and then there is a one counters bore hole 6.6 .6 throughout hole 11 diameter this is the counter bore diameter and two depths shown in section one see this depth is 15 millimeter i'll show you how to make this one okay click this face sketch activate circle draw circle smart dimension define this diameter 18 escape key to exit now hold shift key select this outer edge and this circle and make relation you will see here co centric see this is fully defined sketch now activate extruded cut keep end condition blind depth it's 10 millimeter say okay look okay let's define hole wizard now here the first option hole type so i'm going to choose the first option, option counter bore hole a standard it's metric and here this is socket head cap screw the design what you saw it is socket head cap screw size we will keep m6 but show custom sizing this is the main R sizing 6.6 .6 is the diameter 11 is the counter bore and here the this length we will modify it i'll show you how now here keep end condition through all okay this one is unchecked go to position now here you have to choose position so position i am going to choose right and move cursor and put your at center you will see this plus mark place escape key to out just move and see this is going to be like this say okay but this is not the perfect so drop down and here you have two options sketch 6 edit now remove this dimension move this one here smart dimension now distance from here to this edge is 15 millimeter according to drawing look say exit now look even section view front side okay look now what else balance see all red fillet so these corners are fillet these outer corners also fill it see this from bottom these corners have fill it and this outer corner also have fill it so activate fill it i'm going to choose inside constant size fill it symmetric and this is two millimeter i'm going to choose this edge and this edge and these two edges also have fillet that's it this is these are the only edges we need to apply say yes look you can click and from here you can apply edit appearance or let's say edit appearance yellow even though you can make little reddish or something like this okay now go to fillet edit fillet see directly you can apply color on the fillet okay look if you select this face click on the face from here you can select green okay now similarly select these two faces 
drop down this appearance face and you can apply okay look so this is helpful for our tutorial i hope you like it so let's see some more thing now fix two blue faces apply 5000 load to green face now here we have to apply load 5000 newton and these two faces are fixed determine factor of safety okay first let's apply right click apply material so here already written plain carbon steel so click now it is up, up applied just go to evaluate mass and from here you will see 128.68 these are the weight of this mass of this okay now here you have one option in evaluate simulation exper analysis wizard click now it is loaded come down here at bottom you will see next now here add fixture 1 2 these two applied say okay now again go to next now here add force now force apply this but this is moving in uh, many different directions come to here select direction okay now direction you can define from here let's say top here choose reverse see you will see this pink arrow goes down so this is your direction now force 5000 newton see you need already here okay now edit existing nothing next change material no we don't need to up change material say next run simulation now it's running see these are the deflections stop animation yes to continue now once you say yes to continue you will see here based on the specific parameter the lowest factor of safety found 2.4287 these are the factor of safety even it's written here so i hope you like it don't forget to share and like our video and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in solidworks thanks for watching